Welcome. In this video, I'll be talking about section 3.1, introducing the derivative, and I'd like to talk about specifically problem number 19. And problem number 19 asks us to find the slope of the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 4 at the point 2, 0. Then we want to find the equation of the tangent line at that point. Okay, so there are two parts of this problem. First part, we want to find the slope of this function at this point, and then find the equation of the tangent line. So let's start with the first part. We just want to find the slope of this function at this point. And there are really two ways to go about this. Uh, we can either find the derivative function, or we can just find the derivative at the point. For this problem, let's find the derivative specifically at the point. So to find the derivative at a point, in other words, if I want to find the slope of this function at the value x equals 2, then I want to find uh, the limit as h goes to 0 of f of, well, x plus h would be what I use typically. But in this case, uh, let's write it this way f of a plus h minus f of a over h, where a is the x values that I'm specifically looking for. In this case, the x value that I'm looking for is 2. So where x, uh, well, in this case we're using a, where a is equal to 2. Okay, so now that we know that a is equal to 2, I could rewrite this thing. I could say that this is the same thing as the limit as h goes to 0 of f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over h. Now, let's figure out what is f of 2 plus h. Well, f of 2 plus h is saying take 2 plus h and plug it in everywhere over here where I find an x. So I could write this. This is f of 2 plus h, then, is this x will be replaced by 2 plus h. So I get limit as h goes to 0 of 2 plus h squared minus 4 minus f of 2. So minus, and then what is f of 2? If I plugged in 2 to the function, I would get 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 is 0. So minus 0 divided by h. All right, so let's rewrite. This is the limit as h goes to 0 of, if I square this out, I would get the following. Uh, if I square 2, I get 4. If I take 2 times the first times the second, I get plus 4h. If I square h, I get plus h squared minus 4 divided by h. And you can see right away that the 4 and the minus 4 cancel each other out. So all that I'm left with is the limit as h goes to 0 of 4h plus h squared, 4h plus h squared, divided by h. Everything on the top has an h in it. Since everything has an h in it, I could factor out an h. And I'd get h times 4 plus h over h. So now the h's cancel, and I'm just left with the limit as h goes to 0, of 4 plus h. But as h goes to 0, 4 plus h, h is 0, and we're just left with 4. Now, what is that number 4? 4 is the slope of this function, f of x equals x squared minus 4, at the point where a equals 2. In other words, at the point 2, 0. So what we found here is the slope at the point 2, 0. That's half of the problem. The other half of the problem says, okay, 
So you know what the slope is at the point 2, 0. Now can you find the equation of the tangent line at that point P? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to erase this. But we know now that the slope is 4. Okay. Now that we know that the slope is 4, we need an equation of a tangent line through the point P. Well, to find the equation of a tangent line, I need to know two things. I need to know a point that that line goes through. Here's a point that line goes through. And I need to know the slope of the line. I know the slope of the line. We figured out it was 4. So I can use my point slope form of a line, which is y minus some uh, known point y0 is equal to m times x minus x0. Now, x0 and y0 are my known x value and y value for the point that I know. So 2, 0 is my x0 and my y0. And I know my m because I just solved for it. That was the slope, and that was 4. So let's plug in what we know. We've got y minus y0. But y0, the y coordinate of 2, 0 is 0, equals m, but that's the slope. We calculated that the slope was 4, times x minus x0. But that's the x value of the point that I know. And in this case, that is 2. So I put in 2. So I've got y minus 0 equals 4 times x minus 2, or y equals 4x minus 8. And y equals 4x minus 8 would be the slope of the tangent line. So the slope at the point is 4. The line going through that point that's tangent to the curve is y equals 4x minus 8.